This is the J.R. Hendrick Texan Gentleman, a podcast that deals with the early life of J.R. Hendrick. This is Jimmy enacting J.R. and his father on the weekend home, Easter of 1984. Can't believe you have to go home to Nashville tomorrow. Son, music don't make itself. Business is good right now. When are you going to take me out of school? Soon and very soon. You got a couple months left. Okay. You can I go back to public school? Well, what the hell you take? Beg me for, huh? A kid before I've gotten a bottle of whiskey. Keeps me regulated. <laughs> Boy, you got one problem. At school, your mama said, too. Don't get me wrong. I'm a brother, Jim. We all do. But what you've been telling me for six months in your letters from, uh, to me, okay? What you've been telling your mom, what you've been telling your granddad, you've been unhappy in that school. See me in the public school, I'm not sure you're going to be that much happy here either. I'm going to send you a place. That's going to make a thing happen. And I'm not talking about flowers on the wall, boy. I just had to find a way to break it to you. Your mama and granddad. Don't tell me you're going to send me to school boarding school. <laughs> not this summer. Next summer. What are you doing? Boy. You're a good kid, okay? You're being a gentleman. So I admit a little Lord Pomeroy. Damn it, I kind of don't like it. There's a school in town. It's ran by this Episcopalian uh, uh, father and deacon. It's called Reese Prep. It's a day school. It's got it's got boarding curriculum, but you don't need to go to boarding school. Except over the summer, at school for the blind. You mean I get to go there? Look, I said no for years because your granddad said no. But now I have to put down the law. Boy, you ain't been happy for six months. I got to do something. I have to assert myself as your father every once in a while. And this is one of them times. You ain't going to be the same, boy, because you've been burned too much. I ain't going to let that happen. What's the problem? You remember that Thanksgiving... When you was nine, we all went to Montana. Yeah. Your Aunt Kathleen's got cancer. She's dying. So you're going to have to summon your mama and go over to Montana. I need you to do a good little boy and just do what I say. But you don't want to raise to a cat prep next, next fall. So you can erase her shirt. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, I don't know. I'm scared. Boy, you're going to have to quit hiding behind your mama and granddad's uh, coattails. And you know why I can't stay here. The oil economy's flat. Nashville's where I can make some money to send home to you and to your mama. 
I'm sorry. Does Reese Fripp have a personal coach? Where else? Come on, boy. Proud of you. <laughs> you went from beyond stealing. Just being a gentleman. Be razor sharp. I hope you enjoyed listening to the J.R. Hendrick Texan Gentleman. If you like what you hear, please subscribe. Become a part of the adventure. This is the James Hendrick Empowerment Network saying until next time, get ready for the rest of the story. It gets a lot lighter from here. Take care, and God bless you, and God bless the USA.